Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download install the Better Exceptions mod for your Sims 4 game. The first step is we're going to go to this website right here. You can go ahead and click the first link in the description, or you can go ahead and look up the website yourself. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to see this little link right here. We're going to go ahead and click it to download the mod. You may not get this pop up right here, but if you do, it's just asking to save it to your recently downloads. You can go ahead and press save. We're going to go to our recently downloads right here. We're going to click it, and then we're going to drag and drop it onto our desktop. Next up is we're going to go ahead and open up our file explorer. Explorer, and then we're going to go to documents. We're going to go to electronic arts and then we're going to go to the Sims 4. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our mods folder. If you do not have a mods folder, I'll go ahead and delete mine right here. If you do not have a mods folder, all you have to do is just right click anywhere here, click new, click folder, and you can just go ahead and label it mods. Once we have a mods folder, we can go ahead and open it up. And now we're going to go ahead and start extracting our zip file. If you have Windows 11, all we have to do is just right click it and start the extraction process. If you do not, I'll go ahead and leave a zip file extractor extension in the description. So we're going to go ahead and right click our zip file. We're going to press extract all. We're going to click browse. We're going to click documents. We're going to click electronic arts. We're going to click the Sims 4. And then we're going to go ahead and click our mods folder and press select folder and then extract. Once you see it, extracted this file from the zip folder we can go ahead and delete it and now let's go ahead and test it out in our game as you see when we load up the game we get a mod pop up right here and then underneath script mods we should have our better exceptions mod right here once you see that you have it underneath script mods go ahead and press the check mark if for whatever reason you did not get that mods pop up what you're going to go ahead and do is press these three dots right here click game options click other and make sure you have enabled custom content and mods and script mods allowed check marked once you do go ahead and press apply changes press the x exit your game and you're going to go ahead and relaunch your game once you get that mods pop up we're going to go ahead and test it out in our game as you see as soon as we load up our game we get this pop up right here and it's from the better exceptions mod it said looks like it's patched day congrats you installed the new version of the sims 4 or you just installed better exceptions unfortunately this simply means some mods are not going to be compatible with this new patch and will need updated uh better exceptions can scan for possible mod incompatibility and generate a report for you would you like to do so now you can go ahead and press no thanks or you can press yes please i'll go ahead and press yes please even though i currently don't have any mods in my game besides this and then once you click yes please it went ahead and did a little scan and it said good news guess what you should be good to go better exceptions did not detect any incompatible tuning mod there might still be a broken script or cc out there but this is certainly a good start you can go ahead and press okay and also when we load the game we get a welcome to the better exceptions mod pop up and in here you can go ahead and open up the better exceptions menu here you have the option to trigger example exceptions check for conflicts locate alpha cc locate all ui mods and also run patch compatibility scanner if this video has helped you out please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time